Hello everyone, this is Heading Tian. In this video, let's learn chapter 8.1, Polar Coordinates. Uh, we are going to learn four, uh, three objectives. The first one, plot points using polar coordinates. So before we have learned if we are plotting a point, we use x, y. So if we have x, y plane, this is x, this is y. And uh, if I have a point here is x and y. Now we are using the polar coordinates r angle or I say r theta to represent this point x, y. So what's the meaning of that? Good theta. So uh, in the polar coordinates, we have a polar, we call that pole or origin, just like x, y plane, we have origin as zero, zero. And then connect the point and the origin. Let's say here to here is the distance r. So from here to here, the distance is r. If r is positive, it's here to here. And the angle is between the initial side to this terminal side. So the theta is here. So if in the polar coordinates, we don't have x, y, we only have r theta. So any random point here, so the r is from origin to the point here. We say this point is, if this is r, and then from here to here is the new theta. I can also use alpha, this is, uh, is r1. So this point now is r1 alpha. And then this point is r theta. So before we use x, y represent the point. Now we use r theta represent the point. So I can erase the x, y. Okay. Uh, right now we have the point is r theta. Uh, how about uh, negative r theta? If I use this color, how about uh, negative r theta? negative r theta. Theta is still theta because the first step, I always find the theta and then just to find how many, uh, just to scale this array and find the distance r here. So how about the negative r theta? That means r is negative. Here you see it's positive. So the opposite direction, this is, the negative r theta. So this point, we say this negative r theta. So theta is still theta. I didn't change anything. I just uh, uh, change the direction of the r to the opposite way. So it's from here to here. So the point here is negative r theta. Based on the negative r theta, the point here, I rotate counterclockwise. So if I rotate this way. So from here to here is a pi unit, right? So the theta rotate counterclockwise pi unit. That means I got back to the point R theta. Is that means? Use this. Is that means R theta this point equals to negative r and theta plus pi. What's the meaning of that? So this is negative r theta. And then this ray or this segment, I rotate counterclockwise uh, pi unit, then I got back to the r theta. That means the theta, because rotated counterclockwise, I need to add pi. Uh, 
and also negative r theta okay so this uh this point i wrote it clockwise so pi unit so the theta rotate from here to here i got back to the r theta that means theta minus pi because clockwise that's the negative angle that means minus pi so theta minus pi that means r uh, r theta equals negative r theta plus or minus pi that means i can add a minus sign here and i clear up this side interesting so this is r theta and this is r theta and this is negative r theta and then based on the negative r theta i wrote it this way that means i add pi and based on this one i minus theta oh sorry minus pi i got back to r theta so it's very interesting how about uh, if uh, r equals zero that means i don't care where is uh, i don't care uh about the theta maybe the theta is this degree this or from here to here is this degree but the r is zero that means it's origin so that means it's at origin the point is at origin okay what else i need to say mm, i think that's it uh let's move on to see the example plot the points whose uh, polar coordinates are given so for this one first uh, first step i will find the angle and then scale three units on the ray so let's draw a big color coordinates plane for example okay first one let's find the angle five pi over six so this is zero this is pi over two, this is pi. So five pi over six is about here and reference angle is pi over six. So I, uh, I better to use dash line. So from here to here is five pi over six and then three unit. So the length of the R is three unit. I can choose if from here to here is one, two, three. So the point here is three, three, five pi over six. So I found it. That means I don't need to this part. I can choose this color. here to here r is three and the angle from here to here is five pi over six how about next one next one uh, is negative pi over four so choose another color if i use uh, this one so negative pi over four so negative angle is going to this direction uh, clockwise that means if I draw a dash line, so from here to here is negative pi over four and the five unit. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I see. So from origin to here is five unit. And then this point is the point we are looking for. 
number b. That's five negative pi over four. Then I can erase this part. Okay, the third one is pi, 3.5 pi. So <clears throat> choose this one. So first I find the, the, uh, the angle. So the angle is on this line because it's pi and 3.5. So the distance, I can write it down. One, two, uh, 3.5. Three, maybe this is four, but to the point is 3.5. So it's here. So this one is 3.5 pi. The R is from here to here. So I can erase this blue dots. Okay, how about the fourth one? Fourth one, let's choose purple. Pi over three, negative four. So pi over three, where is pi over three? In the first quadrant. So pi over three is like this. Pi over three is 60, right? 60 degrees. And negative four, so one, two, three, four. Oh, the point may be here. So from here to here, the point is negative four pi over three. So actually we just need the point. So I can erase this. So the things we are looking for, just the point, this point, this point, this point, this point, and this point. And uh, you see, since the R is uh, the distance from origin to here, that means, so if here is one, so we can draw a circle. So the point on the circle to the origin, they are all one. So from here to here is two. That means this circle, the point on the circle two unit, uh, to the origin, that's uh, two. So if five, I draw a big circle. So every point of on the circle to the origin is five. That's the radius. So we find, the, uh, we find these four points. So first step, plot the point, uh, find the angle, and then plot the point from origin to that uh, uh, to that point is three unit. And then we find the four points. Let's see, next one, uh, given uh, the point is four pi over six in polar coordinates, find two other polar coordinates representations. So first step, let's find where is the point four pi over six. So if I draw the graph, so first I find the pi over six is like this. Should be a ray, should be a straight line. And then four unit. So from here to here, one, two, three, four. So for example, the point here, is for pi over six. Four pi over six. From here to here. This, this color. Angle is Five or six. So the first one, right, R is greater than zero. <clears throat> so we mentioned about that before. If R is greater than zero, it's from here to here. The angle is pi over six. And looking for two other polar coordinates representations. That means 
we have the point here, and then the r from here to here is four. If I rotate the point two pi uh, from uh, to the counterclockwise, so the point will come back to this point again, or I minus two pi going to the clockwise, the point come back to this point again. That means uh, this point, if I write another uh, two color, uh, two color polar, two other polar coordinates uh, representations, two points, that means this point, the only the angle at two pi or minus two pi, I got back to the same position, same terminal side. So for the A, if R is greater than zero, so the four keep the same because four is positive. And the R, uh, the theta pi over six, if plus two pi, plus two pi, come back to the same point or four keep the same, pi over six minus two pi. So it's still the point that's uh, four pi over six. So add them together, that's four. Uh, so pi over six plus two pi, that's pi over six plus six, uh, 12 pi over six, that's 13 pi over six. And another point is four. This is uh, pi over six minus 12 pi over six. That's negative 11 pi over six. So we found, we, we found the two points. Uh, uh, two points. Uh, they are, has the same position as four pi over six. Uh, number B, if the R is negative, is less than zero, is that means, so here is a positive R. And then the negative R is here and distance from here to here is four, but the direction is changed. Here is negative four and R is the same because we only change the R's direction. I did nothing for the theta. And how about the like this point go back to here? go back to here. That means R keep the same, only rotate this one. Uh, that means keep the negative four because number B is asking ne negative R. So negative four and pi over six plus or minus if I say plus, pi, so plus pi means counterclockwise uh, here, the rotate pi unit I got back here. And then another one, do the counterclockwise. Yeah, four pi over six minus, oh, minus pi. So the new point is negative four. Uh, this is seven pi over six. And another point is negative four. This one is negative five pi over six. Right. Okay, so that's the way we solve uh, this problem. Let's move on to see number two. Convert between polar and uh, rectangular coordinates. So we mentioned about the graph that in the uh, rectangular coordinate, we use x, y represent the point. In the polar system, we use r theta. So how to convert uh, r theta and x, y? So let's see this right triangle. The theta is here. R is here. So, uh, so we, we know that the relationship between X, Y, and R theta, we can use the formula in the, uh, this right triangle. So the distance from here to here is Y. Uh, 
the distance from here to here is x. Is that means the theta's adjacent uh, sides is uh, the length is our x. The opposite length is y, and the uh, hypotenuse is r. That means uh, sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse or is y over r, y over r. And cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, it's x over r. So if I'm solving y and x, because, uh, because I want to find, uh, you find just find the, the x and y and plug it in the core uh, rectangular coordinates. So here, uh, multiply by r both sides. So y equals r times sine x, uh, sine theta, sorry, sine theta. And then this one, x, this is x, it's not alpha, it's x. x equals r times cosine theta. And then from these two, I get the first one is x, right, in the rectangular coordinates. So r times cosine theta. And second one is r times sine theta. Uh, do you still remember we have learned the unit circle? The, the Every point on the unit circle is cosine theta, sine theta, cosine goes first. And the unit circle, the r radius is one. So this one is also fit for the unit circle system. So here, the r is not one. So not, you, you must plug in the value of r. So r times cosine theta and r times sine theta. This is x value, this is y's value. And how about uh, we know the x and y find the r theta. So if we know the x and y, that means the distance from here to here is y. The distance from here to here is x. How to find the r? That's the Pythagorean theorem. So we, uh, we learned this, the first one from here. And second one, so we are looking for the r. So r squared equals y squared plus x squared or x squared plus y squared. So in this right triangle, we use the Pythagorean theorem. So that's the r squared equals x squared plus y squared. So if we are looking for r, just the square root to both sides. If r is positive, we just choose the positive value. And how about the theta? Theta, if we know x and y, theta, tangent theta equals y over x. So tangent theta equals y over x. And x is not zero, because if x is zero, uh, this one is undefined because it's in the bottom. So the theta, we can use the inverse, inverse function, find the theta. Okay, let's move on to see the examples. Uh, polar to rectangular coordinates. If they provide us the uh, polar system, polar coordinates. Let's find the x and y in the rec uh, rectangular coordinates. So the first one is r, the second one is theta. Do you still remember x equals r times cosine theta? Because we mentioned about that here. This is the x value, this is the y's value. So plug it in, the r is for Cosine is, uh, theta is 3 pi over 2. So what is cosine 3 pi over 2? So let's draw the uh, xy plane. Uh, 3 pi over 2 is here, right? So in the unit circle, this point is 0, negative 1. So if it's looking for cosines, cosine is 0, then 4 times 0 is 0. So that's, that's a way I find the cosine three pi over two uh, value from the unit circle. This is x value. How about y? Well, sorry. y equals 
R times sine theta. So that's four times sine three pi over two. So this is three pi over two and the sine is negative one. So it's negative four times negative one is negative four. So the x, y, the point equals, oh, sorry, four times zero is zero. Zero, negative four. So you can come back to check because you can plot the point, right? So if we plot the uh, polar coordinates points on the plane, so first we find the angle is three pi over two. That's from the initial and three pi over two here. And the distance from origin to this point is four. So from here to here is four. So this point is four, three pi over two in the polar coordinates. And then this point in the xy plane, the rectangular coordinator is zero, negative four. Do you think this one is zero, negative four? Yeah. Okay, let's move on to C number B. So I can also like this way. So first step, plot the point, and then use uh, this formula to find the xy. So if I draw a plane, this one is negative five pi over six. That means going to this direction. This is zero. This is negative pi over two. This is negative pi. So this angle is almost uh, got to here, negative pi over uh, negative pi. So it must be here. From here to here is five pi over six. And here is pi over six, that's a reference angle. Pi over six, reference angle. Uh, and uh, negative two. So if it's positive, I can plot the point on here. But it's negative two, that means it's on another direction. And here is pi over six. So another direction and two units, one, two. So the point is here. It's negative two, uh, negative five pi over six. So I can erase this part because this is a, uh, the ray or the graph is helping us find the correct one from here to here. So the point is here. And then we can find the x, y's value. So x equals r times cosine theta. And r is negative two. Cosine theta is cosine negative five pi over six equals negative two times. So cosine, so we mentioned about that uh, negative pi over six is here. So the reference angle is uh, pi over six. Oh, sorry. Uh, A S T C. Cosine here is negative. That means cosine uh, negative five pi over six equals negative cosine of the reference angle pi over six. So cosine pi over six. That's uh, square root of three over two. So plug it in this form uh, in value to here. It's negative square root of three over two. And then we got to square root of three. How about the y's value? Uh, y equals r times sine theta. And we know sine for the negative uh, five pi or six, two times sine negative five pi over six. So sine here is also negative. And the negative sine, the reference angle that equals negative two times negative sine pi over six. So pi over six is one half negative 
one half times negative two, that's one. So this one in the uh, rectangular coordinates is negative three. Oh, sorry, positive th uh, square root of three, one. It's positive square root of three, one. The x value from here to here is square root of three. And uh, from here to here, y's value is one. So this is the answer. OK, let's move on to see rectangular to polar coordinates. So if we know this one, this point is x and y, can we per convert this one to the, uh, to the polar coordinates? For sure we can. So first I'd like to plot the point. So if I plot the point, that's negative three, negative three, positive three. The point is here. So we are looking for the R and also looking for the theta, the angle. So R is easy to be calculated because R equals, R squared equals X squared plus y squared. So r equals plus or minus square root of three squared plus, oh, sorry, negative three squared plus three squared. That's plus or mi minus square root of 19. Oh, sorry, 18, square root of 18. And then equals three times square root of two. So one, so the first case, uh, r is greater than zero and r equals positive three square root of two. And then how about the theta? So the tangent to theta, do you still remember we use the formula tangent theta equals r over x, oh, y over x. So the y is three, x is one, uh, is negative three. So this is negative one. And we have learned that if tangent theta equals negative one, we first just to cross out negative sign. Tangent theta equals one, that means reference angle is 45. So the reference angle alpha, so reference angle alpha equals pi over four because tangent theta, uh, tangent alpha equals one. Alpha is pi over four, that's a reference angle. And it's in the second quadrant. So uh, the theta equals pi minus the, minus the reference angle alpha. That's uh, three pi over four. So theta equals pi minus pi over four equals three pi over four. So if R is greater than zero, the point in the polar coordinates, that's three square root of two, three pi over four. Give two representation. Uh, one for this one, we have find it. And then one for R equal negative zero. So that means R is negative is going to this direction. That means when it's going to this direction, I add or minus pi, come back to this point again. So the second case for R is less than zero. R is less than zero. R equals negative three times square root of two. And then I don't need to have these steps. I just based on this one, I give you a negative R's value. That's negative square root of three over two. And uh, this point, I can add pi or minus pi. And then it go back to the same position. So the theta plus or minus, minus pi. So I, if I choose minus pi, because they only ask a one point, so I can choose minus pi. So 
that means theta is 3 pi over 4 minus pi is negative pi over 4. So we find these two points. One point is this one, one point is this one. Okay, let's move on to see next example. Convert uh, this one, x, y. This is rectangular coordinates to polar uh, coordinates. Give two representations, one with r is greater than zero and another one with r. Here need to have a space. Uh, so with r is less than zero. So this one is the same. So first, let's plot the point. It's negative two, uh, negative five, negative two. So for example, this is negative five and uh, this is negative two. So the point should be here. It's negative five, negative two. We are looking for the polar coordinates. First step, find the r. r squared equals x squared plus y squared equals x squared is negative five squared uh, plus negative two squared. That's 25 plus 4 is 29. So r is equals plus or minus square root of 29. And then the first case, that's for r is greater than 0. So we can choose r equals square root of 29. How about the angle from here to here? So use tangent to theta equals y over x. So y is negative two, uh, x is negative five. So this is two over five. So if we are using calculator, the tangent, the inverse tangent, they only give us here or here, the, the angle. Because this is a positive angle, the calculator will only give us the inverse in the first quadrant this one, right? But we are looking for the angle from here to here. And this one is the reference angle here. So the theta equals the inverse tangent, two over five is the angle here because the inverse only, only provide us the angle in these two quadrant and tangent is positive. So it's here. And uh, this one is a reference angle here. That means the angle from the initial to this terminal need to be added a pi. So add a pi. This is the actual value for theta. So for the r is positive, the angle is square root of 29 and uh, inverse tangent. 2 over 5 plus pi. How about the second case? r is less than 0. r is negative square root of 29. So negative square root of 29. And then theta. So the point is here. And if r is negative, so the negative r should be here. The point is, should be here. So I need to rotate this point this side or this side. So plus or minus pi o, uh, plus or minus pi. So plus or minus pi. Because here is the theta. If I minus pi, so make a, a simple angle, angle. That means I choose minus pi. If, I, if you plus pi, I will also give you full point. So this y is negative square root of 29 tangent the inverse tangent two over five. Um, this is the answer for this question. Let's move on to see next one. Convert between uh, equations in polar and rect uh, rectangular coordinates. So for this kind of question, actually, uh, actually, uh, many curves are more easily repre uh, represented by the polar equation. So if you use polar equation, it's easier to represent the graph or the function. So this one is r equals 5 sine 4 theta. 
And this, this one, this graph, this function, we use the polar equation to represent is r equals two minus three times cosine theta. So you will learn these in the pre-calculus class. So these are two examples. And in your mind, you must memorize these uh, equations. X equals r times cosine theta. Do you still remember that? A point here, if it's x and y, x can be represented by r times cosine theta, and the y can be represented by r times sine theta. And then also need to memorize x squared plus y squared equals r squared, and tangent theta equals y over x. And then in the equation, when you see the x, you use r times cosine alpha, uh, sorry, r times cosine theta represent the x. When you see the y, use r times sine theta replace the y, and then solve the r, because look at the graph here. The final form must be r equals something, equals uh, a function with the angle theta. r equals a function with the angle theta. That means, so r must be on the left-hand side. So let's clean this one and then we solve the equation converted to the polar uh, coordinates. So the first one, two times sine x is r times cosine theta plus y, y is r times sine theta equals four. And uh, so we want to isolate the r. I can pull out the r outside. Is two times cosine theta plus sine theta equals four. And then isolate the R, that means divided by this term, both sides. So the R equals four over two times cosine theta, cosine theta plus sine theta. So this one is the uh, expression of uh, the polar coordinates. I'm very curious to see the graph of this. So let's use the uh, calculator to graph this one. Oh, actually graph this one. I'd better to use the, uh, I'd better to uh, use the uh, rectangular rectangular form to graph it is, I think it's easier in my calculator. But uh, in the uh, future classes, I mean, the future course like a uh, pre-call, you will use this form a lot. Okay, I save some time and uh, move on to next one. So this one, let's plug in the X and Y by r times cosine theta and r times sine theta. So this one is r times cosine theta squared plus uh, r times sine theta, theta minus two squared equals four. And when you see this form, that's a, a mm, circle. That's x squared plus y minus two squared minus four. Okay. Distribute the square root. Oh, distribute the squared. That's r squared times cosine theta squared plus. So distribute this one. That's r squared times uh, sine theta squared uh, minus four times r squared. Oh, sorry, four times r times. Uh, sine theta plus four plus, uh, equals four. So four and four minus four both sides. That's zero, zero. And then we have R and R and R here. So these two forms, it uh, they all have R squared. I like to pull out R squared. We have cosine 
theta squared plus sine theta squared. Because I know this is one minus four times r times sine theta equals one uh, equals zero. So this is one. That means r squared times one, just r squared minus four r sine theta equals one. So from from that's zero. So I can pull out the r. R times one, uh, not one, that's R minus four, psi theta equals zero. That means R equals zero or R minus four, psi theta equals zero. Is that means R equals four, psi theta? Mm, that's awesome. And we have learned that if theta equals zero, psi theta is zero. 4 times 0 is 0. That means in this expression, there is a case that r equals 0. That means this solution is included in this expression. That means I can only just keep one, uh, uh, keep one solution. That is r equals 4 times sine theta. Because uh, in this case, there is a scenario that uh, and make the r equal zero. So this one is included here. That means the final expression for the r is r equals four times sine theta. How about number c? So use the same formula, plug in x equals r times cosine theta equals four times r times sine theta squared. And then, uh, move everything to the uh, left hand side. This r times cosine theta minus four times r squared times sine theta squared equals zero. I just want one r. I just want to solve the r. I can um, I can pull out one r. So r cosine theta minus four times r times psi uh, theta squared equals zero. That means I have two cases. One is r equals zero or uh, cosine theta minus four times r times psi theta squared equals zero. And then let's solve this one. So keep bring down the first term is r equals zero or so, I need a line here. Okay, so if I solve the R here, I can uh, move the, uh, I can solve this, move this term to another side. So I have no space. So if I borrow a space here, so solve this one, cosine theta equals four times, because move this term and change the sign, four times R, times sine theta squared, and then uh, isolate the r divided by four times sine theta squared both side, or sine theta squared both sides. So r equals cosine theta over four times sine theta squared. So if I don't want to have the denominator, um, I can make it like cosine theta, times one over sine theta, uh, one over uh, sine theta squared, that's uh, cosecant squared. So uh, another solution for the R is one over four cosine theta times cosecant theta squared. So um, I have these two uh, solution. So how about the second one? Uh, how about the first one? Uh, R equals zero is included in the second one or not? Let's see. Uh, is there any case make the R equals zero if theta equals 
pi over two? Yes, there is, there is a chance to make the r equal zero in this side because if theta equals uh, pi over two, so cosine pi over two is zero, zero times everything is zero. That means r equals zero is included in this expression. That means we just keep one solution, which is r equals one fourth cosine theta times cosecant theta squared. So uh, that's the way we solve this. Let's move on. If the solution, you have some other form, like uh, uh, if the solution gave you uh, that uh, one fourth times cotangent theta times second theta. They are the same, they are the same. Why? Because here is cosine and cotangent, this one equals cosine over sine theta theta. And then sine theta equals uh, one over sine theta equals cosecant. So cosine theta times cosecant theta. So if you have this one, you are correct. If you ha also have one fourth time cotangent to cos times cosecant theta, uh, it's the same. So never mind if you see the solution is different from yours because you just do the risks, uh, do the uh, quotient rule identities and then you have the same result. So they are the same. If you have this one, this answer, you got full point. If you got this answer, you got full point. It doesn't matter. So I can put over here. So the solution can be this one or can be this one because in previous, uh, on the scratch paper, I got this answer, but here I got this answer. They both correct. Okay, let me uh, erase the procedures from previous question and move on to next part. So convert the, so pause the video, read the video, uh, read the, uh, the words here. Convert the polar equation to the rec, uh, rectangular form and identity uh, the type of the curve uh, represented. Okay, let's see, convert the polar equation to the regular, a rectangular form. Okay, so we still need to use these. So use all of these to convert to the uh, polar equation to the rectangular uh, form. So uh, we have learned that, uh, x equals r times cosine theta, y equals r times sine theta. And here, how to convert a cosine theta times r or sine theta times r? Let's see, second equals one over cosine theta. So uh, in this equation, this one, this one, I multiply by cosine theta both sides. That means cosine theta times r equals two. That means cosine theta times r, r times cosine theta is the same. That means x over, over two. So what's the meaning of this, this one? Is that means x equals two and then this is a vertical line. So I can say this graph is a vertical line and the uh, intersect, intersect is x equals two. Okay, let's move on to see the second one. 
second one is R equals A times cosine theta. So can I convert it to this form? I don't think so, because this is cosine theta. There is A here. So I can't make R times cosine or sine theta. Uh, but I can make R squared, because we also learn R squared equals X squared plus Y squared. That means I can make the R to the squared. That means multiply by R both sides equals A times cosine theta and then times R. R squared, I just plug in X plus Y because I want to make sure my expression only have the X and Y. So X plus X squared plus Y squared equals a times, so what is cosine theta times r? Cosine theta times r, that's x. And then we see, oh, the expression is x squared minus ax, I move this term to another side, plus y squared equals zero. Can I leave it like this? I better not leave it like this because I can continue to complete the square because we have learned that if we have x squared minus ax, if I want to make something with a to make a square, what should I add? So x squared minus ax, I need to add a over two squared. And then, this term is x minus a over two squared. Because I think this form is kind of like a, um, a circle. That's the reason I want to complete the square for the x squared and minus a x. So when you see x squared minus two a x, if I want to convert convert it to a, a square, I need to add the a divided by two and then square it. So bring down the y squared equals, because I add a, a over two squared, I need, to my, uh, I need to also add a over two squared on the other side. So this is a knowledge we have learned from the college algebra. And then, so this is the square, that's x minus a over two squared plus y squared equals a squared over four. So this is a circle. Radius is a over two, a over two and the center at a over two, uh, zero. This is a final uh, form of this. So some students get confused how I create the complete, uh, to, so, so how to complete the square. So um, you can just uh, think it by this way. When you see this one, and then I need to create the third term. That's plus the a minus two squared. And also you can think it by the opposite way because this one we have learned that uh, if I distribute the square, that's a squared minus two times x times uh, a over two is x times a over two. And then plus, the square of this a squared over two squared, or just say a over two squared. Let me erase this. So this one, this one is x squared minus uh, a x plus a squared over two squared. That means if I, uh, if from here I want to uh, make a x minus a over two, I must add a over two squared. So 
that's the reason I add a pi or uh, I add a over two squared here, and then make a square like x minus pi, uh, a over two. And then if I add a over two on the left hand side, I need to add a over two squared on the right hand side. Then I create this term here. Then the first three terms is a complete we complete the square like this and then bring down the y squared. Another side is a squared over four. Okay, that's the uh, chapter 8.1. If you have any question, please let me know and uh, we can discuss it together. Okay, have a good one, bye.